welcome back everyone, my name is Aircode. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about the new version of Minecraft that is coming to Xbox One consoles. So yes, we're going to have two versions of Minecraft on an Xbox One console that you can play. There's a lot of information to take in and I guarantee at some point in this video you're going to get really confused. Now during the Minecraft E3 announcement they really didn't explain it in great detail after reading Minecraft.net it still really doesn't explain it. Why bring another version? Why have two versions of Minecraft on the same platform? So I want to start off from the beginning and talk about the current version of Minecraft Xbox One that we have right now. The version that we've had since the early title updates because this version come August slash September is no longer going to be buyable. It will no longer be in your stores. It will no longer be sold on the Xbox One store. It will still be playable but it's going to be replaced with this new version called Minecraft. And that is what the Bedrock Engine version of Minecraft is going to be. It's coming to Xbox One. It's pretty much Pocket Edition slash Windows 10 Edition VR. That's going to be cross-platform play with Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and fingers crossed in the future, PlayStation. So why do this? Well, the honest answer is nobody really knows why this is going to be a thing. The only thing that I can think of is that the Minecraft Xbox One edition at this current point is coded very differently from Minecraft Pocket Edition and Windows 10 edition. And it was too much of a challenge for them to change the whole code base of Minecraft Xbox One edition to then port it to possibly be playable with the Bedrock version. So that left a lot of questions for 4J Studios. The number one question that people were saying is, does this mean that 4J Studios are no longer gonna develop the current versions of Minecraft Console Edition? That is not happening. 4J are not going anywhere. 4J are still gonna be developing and updating and introducing things to Minecraft Xbox One Edition, 360, PlayStation 3, PS4, PS Vita, Wii U, and the Switch version. But some of these versions are gonna have the new version of Minecraft. That is 100% confirmed because the new version of Minecraft that's gonna be on the Bedrock engine, I'm pretty sure is developed by the Redmond team who work on Pocket Edition slash Windows 10. And I know it's really confusing. One of the most disappointing thing is that this is going to split the community very much. The first time that this ever happened was when we just had it on 360. We then got Xbox One, we then got PlayStation. So if you look at it guys, there is tons of different communities for Minecraft Console Edition. You've got like the Minecraft Xbox community, Minecraft PlayStation, you've got the Minecraft uh, Nintendo community. And I guess the overall ambition was that they wanted to bring everyone together just to be in Minecraft. Now with that being said, again guys, if you do own Minecraft Xbox One Edition at this current point, this new version of Minecraft that's going to be released in August slash September is going to be completely free to upgrade as long as you currently own Minecraft Xbox One. And this is where I want to ask you guys a question and make sure you answer the question that's on the top right of the video. Are you going to be stepping away from the current version of Minecraft Xbox One Edition as in not playing it anymore because the new version known as Minecraft on the Bedrock version is going to have more to offer. Things such as infinite worlds, realms, servers, custom skins, and so much more. So why would anyone want to stick around on this current version of Minecraft Xbox One Edition where they have to pay for skin packs, texture packs, master packs, and so much more. Meanwhile, if you're linked to the Bedrock engine, which is Pocket Edition and Windows 10, Realms, yeah, you have to purchase for them, but that's fine. Infinite Worlds, well, that's free. Servers, they're free. Custom skins, they're free. So I feel like... Over time, the current version of Minecraft Xbox One Edition, it's going to be like non-existent. And I mean like the player base is going to be very, very small. So that's what I wanted to explain in great detail in this video. And also something else that you need to know is that if you do own Minecraft Xbox One Edition at this current point, all the worlds that you have available will be transferable to the new Minecraft Bedrock Engine version. So for example, my Survival Island series, I can transfer it to the new version of Minecraft. I can make that world infinite. I can transfer all my Soldier Adventures worlds. And something very important as well is I can then transfer them from Xbox to Pocket Edition to then give you a download because they're gonna be .mc world files like add-ons and so much more. So there's kind of like a, a really big confusion, but I feel like this video does explain in great detail what's happening 
questioning the overall plan. Something I do want to let you know is that uh, the mini games that console version has right now, the Battle, Tumble and Glide, they will not be transferable to the new version of Minecraft. They will not be coming to Pocket Edition or Windows 10. They will be staying a Minecraft Console Edition exclusive. So if you do have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below. Again, there's a lot of information to take in, which is why it wasn't explained during the E3 announcement because everybody would have got confused. And even after today's video, some of you still might be confused. And that is because, well, it is all confusing. But August last September will tell everything you need to know. I will keep you updated. Have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.